Hey everyone, welcome back to another PNSO review. Today we're going to take a look at Lu Sung, the Juchung Tyrannus. I was pleasantly surprised when PNSO announced this figure, another nice Tyrannosaur, to add to our collections. I ended up getting this figure off of AliExpress. It retails for just over $42. And I'll leave a link down below to PNSO's AliExpress store. As I always say during these reviews, I always prefer ordering through their AliExpress store because shipping is free. If you order off of Amazon, they do charge you shipping, so it's a good way to save yourself a few dollars. So let's not waste any time and jump into this review. Let's go over the packaging really quick. We have a nice picture of Lusong on the front of the box. It is part of the prehistoric animal models line. It is number 58 in the line. Top of the box, you have a nice close-up of Lusong's head. And then inside the box, you do get a pamphlet with some information about Jujung Tyrannus. We have nice pictures of the model and you know as always it's not painted as well as the promotional images one of my biggest nitpicks with pnso some more pictures of the model it's a really it is a really nice model it's a nice hefty chunky model and let's see here's some reconstructed artwork pnso likes to let's get the camera to focus in on that likes to reconstruct the transos with like a tough of feathers but their figures unfortunately never ever reflect that and then over here here is the bag of bones that Juchong Tyrannus is known from uh, maxilla and a dentary. So that is it for the booklet. And also you do get one poster, mercifully. I can't wait to get that Sintao Saurus because uh, that's probably gonna come with like 20 something posters. But it's pretty nice that PNSO decided to stay ahead of the curve and give us a picture of the three new Tyrannosaurus species. So enough about the packaging, let's throw this chunky boy up on the turntable and jump into this review. And let's start with a nice 360 degree view of Lusong. This is a big, bulky, beefy Tyrannosaur figure. And for once, I'm okay with the price tag that comes with this figure. You know, it's around $42 and I feel like the price is justified. It's a large figure, definitely justifies the price point. It's one of the larger figures in the prehistoric animal uh, models line. And I think this figure turned out absolutely great. It's sculpted in a slightly dynamic pose. That left foot is lifted up like it's about to take a step forward. Now time will tell if this figure is gonna remain stable. Thankfully, it comes with a little bit, a little stand, which we'll get to momentarily. But I think the head sculpt turned out absolutely gorgeous on here. And the paint job is good. Definitely not as good as the promotional images, but what PNSO figure is, I think they did a really good job painting this figure and I am quite, quite happy with it. Now for a couple quick measurements, if you measure this figure along the curve of the tail, it's about 12 and a quarter inches long and about four and a half inches tall to the top of the head. So Jutong Tyrannus is estimated between 33 and 39 feet long. So those measurements, I put this figure somewhere in the 132 to the 138 scale range. So it's gonna scale nicely with your 135 scale figures. Now, before we dive into the details portion of the review, a lot of people looking at this figure must be thinking, this looks exactly like a T-Rex. But there are a couple small key differences. Thankfully, I went on Wikipedia and got all the deets for you. So buckle in and let me explain to the differences of Jutong Tyrannus versus the other Tyrannosaurs. <clears throat> Juchong Tyrannus can be distinguished from all other Tyrannosaurinae by a single autapomorphy, the presence of a horizontal shelf on the lateral surface of the base of the ascendant process of the maxilla and a rounded notch in the anterior margin of the maxillary fenestra. Duh. Zuchong Tyrannus also possesses a ventral margin of the inorbital fenestra that lies well above that of the ventral rim of the inorbital fusa. Obviously, come on guys, this is like basic. Additionally, the total length of the maxillary fenestra is more than half the distance between the interior margins of the inorbital fusa and fenestra. Probably screwing that up. Unlike the contemporaneous Tarbosaurus, Chutong Trans lacks a subcontinuous flange on the post. Oh god, I really dug myself a whole part of the juggle ramus of the maxilla and ventrally convex paddle shelf that covers the bulges of the roots of the ray of the teeth in the medial view. Come on guys, this is just basic paleontology 101. 
And before we proceed, you do get a little clear acrylic stand, which will help with stability with this figure. I always recommend using the stands that comes with their bipedal figures because they are prone to warping. Now let's zoom in and look at some of the finer details on this figure, starting with this really nice head sculpt. You know, we all know right now the deal with PNSO is they don't believe that theropods had lips, even though some of their older figures did have lips, but that's neither here nor there. So it is a really nice head sculpt, a lot of nice fine scale detail especially around the inorbital finestra you have all these large uh scales at the tip of the snout they think that they have uh tyrannosaurs and theropods had these large you know pressure sensitive scales like crocodiles and alligators and they are beautifully painted with some nice dry brushing of black and you have some brown in the cracks over here looks like some dirt has caked up the nostril is sculpted right here there's a little bit of pink paint on the nostril the eye is painted yellow with a black people has a nice gloss coat on it the uh, horny ornamentation above the eye is painted in orange paint. I wish it was kind of applied like with a dry brush. Use some kind of glossy paint on here and it makes it look a little bit cheap. Definitely not as nice as it looks in the promotional images. And let's look at the figure from the front. You get some nice uh, T-Rex looking uh, binocular vision. And then the lower jaw is articulated and the mouth can open up about that wide and then looking inside the mouth you do get some really nice mouth detail you can see the nasal passages sculpted on the roof of the mouth some nice washes in there to give it a more lifelike look you got a nice looking tongue some more gloss paint uh definitely not as painted as nice as the inside of the mouth uh, as wilson but it's a little bit of a cheaper figure so i guess maybe they skimped on it just a little bit uh you can barely make out the air canal sculpted uh, behind the skull here's a view at the top of the head and a view on the underneath you see you have a very very thick muscular neck on this figure like i said this figure is really beefy not as beefy as their uh tarba b this figure but you know pretty close and i do like me a bulky looking tyrannosaur and then going down to the main body you know you have some nice dry brushing of brown and then we get to about the belly area they kind of skimped on the dry brush and i wish there was more of it right here instead of having like this flat yellowish look with a little bit of pink highlights but the scales which PNSO has been really good at lately, are very proportionate. You know, you really can't tell they're there until you zoom in uh, pretty close. I know everyone's biggest issue with Wilson was that the scales were large and oversized. That really didn't bother me, but it's nice that, you know, PNSO, I guess, was listening to us and made the scales much more proportionate. Going down to the puny front uh, forelimbs, they are nicely sculpted. There's a little bit of black paint on them, and you have some paint on the tiny uh, hand claws going down to the thighs come on camera focus in on this thing uh you got some nice dry brush over there bring out all these nice folds and wrinkles and all that really really fine scale detail going down to the hind feet they are also nicely sculpted a lot of black paint uh from the ankle all the way down to the tip of the toes i do like the slightly dynamic uh, sculpt that they gave the left foot definitely adds some character to this figure and looking at it from the other uh, underside you do have a nice barrel shaped belly and let's take a look at it from the top you have a nice very thick hip region and a very very thick tail base and then let's take a look at the undersides of the feet nice details on the underside and we always have to do it so we have the figure flipped over dinosaur butthole check time and there is the cloaca slit and that is a sexy sexy looking butthole on this figure and then going down to the tail some nice black striping that goes all the way down to just about the tip of the tail tail has a little bit of a curve to it so yeah all in all i am really really happy with this figure i like i said i feel like it is justified to have that 42 42 dollar price point and i think this thing turned out absolutely gorgeous Moving on with comparisons, first up here it is with PNSO's Iguanodon. Sorry for headbutting you there, Lu Sung. And next up here it is with their Triceratops. And here it is with the recently reviewed Styracosaurus. And let's do the Centrosaurus for no reason at all. And let's do one more PNSO Ceratops. And here it is with their Sinoceratops. Sinoceratops is found in the same formation as Juchong Tyrannus and probably preyed upon it. So these two would look really nice uh, displayed on the shelf as two animals that coexisted together. And let's do a Hadrosaur. Here it is with their Parasaurolophus. 
and I would love if PNSO one day did a Shintongosaurus uh, in there, you know, either probably, probably have to be in the museum line because it is a very, very large hadrosaur. They already did one, you know, forever ago. It was a large hollow vinyl model. Surprisingly, I do not have that figure, but it would be nice to, you know, actually get a, a figure of that species to pair with this Juchong Tyrannus. And let's move on to Tyrannosaur species. Here it is with Papos Gorgosaurus, and here it is with Safari Limited's Despletosaurus. And here it is with PNSO's Tyrannosaurus Rex. Can, can we still call it a T-Rex? Man, what a wild week it's been uh, for T-Rex. You know, really, I, I don't care. Does someone wake me up when we finally have uh, Tyrannosaurus Sex? But anyways, uh, this Wilson figure is still, still the best Tyrannosaurus figure uh, currently on the market, and both these figures look absolutely excellent next to each other and lastly here it is with the rest of pnso's tyrannosaurus we have the very chunky tarposaurus still an absolute favorite of mine u tyrannus chinsusaurus and nano tyrannus aka a juvenile t-rex so yeah pnso has been pretty busy cranking out different tyrannosaurus species and i'm loving every second of it they all look absolutely fantastic displayed next to each other and all of them are great for the most part maybe except for this one right here i have some issues about that figure but yeah really really digging what they're doing with the tyrannosaurus figures i really hope uh we get more species like despletosaurus uh, Gorgosaurus, Albertosaurus, and you know, fingers crossed. I know it was uh, it was leaked. I really, really hope we get an Acrocanthosaurus really soon from them. So, final thoughts on Jutong Tyrannus. I am extremely happy with this figure. Finally, a figure that justifies PNSO's you know up and down price point. I'm perfectly happy paying forty two dollars for a figure of this quality and size it's a big hefty bulky tyrannosaur it's a species that for you know to my knowledge has never been made into figure form before and it's just a great figure all around you know the only nitpick i can say about it is you know the paint scheme obviously it's the biggest complaint with all pnso figures it does not match up to the promotional images but really what figure does but i think the paint scheme turned out pretty nice on here the head details are fantastic and i love the slightly dynamic pose that they gave this figure you know luckily comes with a little acrylic base so you have to worry about the figure warping and toppling over on the shelf and like I said at the beginning of the review, I got this from PNSO's AliExpress store. Link to that is down below in the description. So that will do it for the review. Um, this is the only new thing I've gotten in recently. So expect more uh, older figure reviews in the meantime until you know more new product starts coming out. So be on the lookout for those reviews. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.